The manuscript begins its long journey when it leaves its author's hands. Often this journey is electronic. Authors upload their manuscripts as directed by the journal and may take only a few minutes. Alternately, the manuscript is in the form of a hard copy, which is then mailed to the journal and can take days or even weeks to reach. It is important to remember that a manuscript can only be submitted to one journal at a time. When manuscripts are uploaded using the Internet, acknowledgement is instant. If sent as an attachment to an email message, acknowledgement can be prompt, although not instantaneous. Journals that require submissions in hard copy form also usually send acknowledgements through emails. Once the manuscript is submitted, the editorial board checks it to see if it meets the basic journal requirements, such as the aims and scope, article type, length, and format. At this point, if requirements are not met, the manuscript may be rejected without review. Therefore, authors are advised to prepare the manuscript by closely following the journal's instructions about style and format. If the manuscript passes the editorial screening stage, it is sent to at least two peer reviewers who can assess the manuscript. Peer review is a long process and can take anything between two to four months. Based on the peer reviewer's recommendations, accept, accept with minor revisions, accept with major revisions, or reject, the editor makes a decision on the manuscript and may seek an additional review in case of conflict. The authors are then informed of the decision. If the manuscript is rejected, authors may begin once again by submitting it to another journal after making necessary revisions. If the manuscript is accepted with major or minor revisions, authors are invited to revise the paper, provide responses or a rebuttal to each of the peer reviewer's comments, and resubmit to the same journal. Once a manuscript is accepted, it is further processed for basic grammar and style at the journal end and formatted as per the journal layout. The page proofs are then sent to the author for a final check, and the changes, if any, are incorporated. The whole issue of a journal, which contains many such papers, is published online or printed, and copies sent out to subscribers. The manuscript can then be considered published.